Today I'm showing you how to install the TrendNet IP camera that utilizes the TrendNet cloud service. This service is pretty cool because you can install the TrendNet app on your phone or go out to a website which is provided at the end of the installation and view whatever is going on on the camera and if you have the right camera even listen to it. So first things first, pull this sucker out of the box and hook it up to your home wireless router or regular wired router. Uh, I prefer this install method where I just use a Cat5 cable, plug it directly into the camera, plug it into my router that my PC is plugged into. And uh, on your PC, you want to make sure that you turn off your firewall or antivirus or anything that possibly could prevent the PC from seeing the camera. If you bought this thing used and do not have the CD, um, that's simple. You just need to go out to TrendNet's website, do a search for your camera, and then download the driver for it. Uh, Mac PC doesn't matter it's just a zip file that you need to download uh, open up that zip file and extract its contents out to a folder and hit the auto run file within there you get the camera software do install camera agree to the terms uh, pretty much just choose the defaults go next 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 I choose connect camera to your wireless network manually and that seems to be the easiest way to do it uh, software will show you how to plug the camera in and all that. Now it's found my camera, so I hit next. Here you can change the soft, uh, the password for the camera. Uh, the default password is uh, admin, so login is admin, password is admin. If you don't want that, you can change it to whatever you want. Uh, so I've already changed my camera's password, so I'm not going to change it. From here, you uh, go on and it configures the camera with its password and once it's done doing that it's going to search for your home network or your work network whatever the wireless network is and it'll see anything that's out there so it's found my home network I'm going to go ahead and enter the uh, pass key for uh, my home network and go ahead and hit next and from there it's going to configure the camera to connect to your home network once setup is complete, you have uh, the link to your cloud service, and then it shows you the Apple and Android uh, mobile app that you should download to your phone so you can look at it remotely. Um, the cloud service link is actually on the back of the camera also, so if you miss it you know, during the installation, it's not a lost cause, it's still you know, retrievable. So w once it's all complete, uh, Unplug it from the router and it should be on your wireless network now. Open up a browser, go out to the link listed on the back of the camera, pop in your username and password that you set during the installation, and you should be good. Um, please check back to our other how-to videos and leave comments and subscribe and let us know what you think.